He makes the trip to Skiji three times a week to buy his tuna fresh, as well as an assortment of some unusual ingredients. Sea urchin eggs and some rather bloody clams. A bag of glass eels. Some innards and a frantic abalone. If you can't find it at Skiji Market, it's probably not fit to eat. Though the prices are astronomical, delivery is free. The fish arrives at Yochan's shop two hours later, and the real work begins. Before refrigeration, the Japanese often had to eat their sushi less than fresh. They still add vinegar to the rice to imitate that slightly sour taste. Yochan has no oven and just two burners. And his entire restaurant seats only eight. He says he likes the chance to serve each customer personally and make sure they enjoy his food. To me, these tiny corner restaurants feel like a haven from the modern world outside. A place to find old-fashioned values, served with laughter, and some of the world's best food.